on today's Church TechCast Q&A show, my go-to editor, ProPresenter with the TriCaster, and Mac versus PC for a ProPresenter. Hi, and welcome again to the ChurchTechCast.com Q&A show. This is the show where every week I answer your questions about church tech stuff. My name is Paul Allen Clifford, and I'm your host. I'd love for you to ask your questions, by the way, so you can hit me up on Twitter, Paul Allen Cliff, P-A-U-L-A-L-A-N-C-L-I-F, or leave a comment below the video if that's what you're watching, or all my contact information is located over at trinitydigitalmedia.com slash contact. So let's dive into the questions. These all came from Twitter this week, which is a little unusual, but fun nonetheless. Uh, Tayshaw K. Robinson on Twitter said, Hi Paul, I was wondering if you have a go-to editor. Now while I found out later he was talking about book editor, um, I think it's a great question to answer, what do I use to edit? Well, believe it or not, I use uh, Camtasia. I bought a copy of Camtasia a while back for screen recording and I use that for the screencast show, but I also found out I could use it for my editor and it saved me all kinds of time that I was transcoding my video files and all kinds of stuff because before that I was using Final Cut 7. Now I love Final Cut 7. I really kind of like Final Cut 10. I just don't own Final Cut 10. And so I'm not using that. I had a bad experience with Premiere back in 2000. I'm sure it's much better now, but back then it was just buggy and hard to get to work, at least in the situation that I was in. I'm sure other people had some good luck with it, but I just had trouble with it. So. Camtasia is what I'm using. BigNate84 on Twitter says, Hey Paul, really enjoy your videos and podcast. Any tips on using ProPresenter 5 in conjunction with a new tech TriCaster? We've got a TriCaster 455 ALA. We are in the process of building a custom PC for ProPresenter 5. The question now becomes, what is the best way to get video out of the ProPresenter 5 PC and into the TriCaster for distribution recording. Well, um, first off, I wouldn't use a custom-built PC. I know you lose control. I know that if you're a PC guy, you prefer those, but ProPresenter really likes the Macintosh. They're getting better on the PC version, but uh, they just added that recently, so they, they're playing a little catch-up nothing wrong with that but the problem is in your particular case you have two real options for getting video into the TriCaster you have either HDSDI or component while you could take the signal out of your computer and use a, an adapter to do it I'd really prefer to do HDSDI and you can get a dedicated HDSDI stream from your computer only if it's a Mac. Now, you, as I say, you can convert it downstream, but you just won't get the flexibility. You also won't get an alpha channel. So that's something else that I'd recommend. Basically, you go through the advanced modules of ProPresenter 5 and like, Two of them are available for the PC and the Mac. The rest of them are Mac only. So look at those, and if you need any of them, if you need edge blending, sorry, Mac only. If you need MIDI control, Mac only. If you need uh, control of the switcher, Mac only. 
you see the point that I'm getting to the some of these features just haven't come along yet for the PC some of it is the the Mac has core video that makes it much easier to do this but some of it is just that they haven't gotten to it yet because the PC is so new for them. They started on the Mac, they've been developing on the Mac for probably around a decade, and so that's why I think that it's a bit of a problem. So that's just what I want to suggest to you. Now, the final question also from Big Nate 84 says, what are the big features lost on Pro 5 on a PC? Are they crucial to operation or just convenient? Well, depends upon your situation. I wouldn't say that they're crucial to operation for most churches, but for some, they absolutely will be. And I think, knowing you, uh, Big Nate 84, he has a show on YouTube all about uh, the fact that he's a video systems integrator. So I'm guessing he's not going to be satisfied with just bare minimum operation. He wants all the pro professional stuff. So that's why I would recommend going with the Mac in this case. So it's a little more expensive on the hardware side. You don't have all the control, but you do have more features with ProPresenter. So that's what I've seen. Now, there are plenty of people that are using it on the PC without any trouble whatsoever, but just recognize if you want the advanced features, you've got to go Mac right now. If you don't, there's six of one, half dozen of the other, although of people that have used both, I haven't, so Take that with a grain of salt. Of people that have used both the Mac version and the PC version, they tend to say that the Mac version is better. And I think that that's, again, the maturity of the uh, of ProPresenter on the Mac platform, that it's just been there long enough that the programmers are more familiar with it. So I hope that helps you. I hope that those were answers to some of the questions you've meant to ask, but just haven't gotten around to. Don't forget to drop me a line if you have questions. And you can also join my email newsletter, which I send from my email. Well, I use a service, but it comes from my email. So you can just reply directly back to that. So head on over to trinitydigitalmedia.com slash gifts, G-I-F-T-S pick out the gift that you want and sign up for the, new, the newsletter there. Once there, um, then you can get that gift, uh, my video course, some of my ProPresenter stuff, even my book on Twitter, any of those are available to you. And you get my newsletter, which gives you tips, tricks, uh, some stuff that I'm working on that I haven't publicly announced elsewhere, that kind of thing. So do that, and I hope to see you there. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford with TrinityDigitalMedia.com. Hi and welcome again to the Hi and what I'm gonna restart. Hi and welcome again to the churchtechcast.com screen uh, take three.